Okay, so a lot of times with with the, when we're dealing with square roots and if they have fractions, we don't want to have any radicals in the denominator. So that is the whole point of rationalizing the deni denominator. Having no radicals in the denominator. Okay, so let's look at how to do that. So if we have the square root of 5 halves, which, I mean, we've taught, we've done this with the rules. This is the same as square root of 5 over square root of 2. That doesn't change it. So how do I get rid of a square root of 2 in the denominator? So think about, you know, what I could do to cancel out that square root. Well, I, if I square the square root of 2, it would drop it out. So that's the same as multiplying by square root of 2 because I'm multiplying it by itself. Now, if I do that on the bottom, I have to do that on the top. So square root of 2 times square root of the bottom becomes just 2. Now, since I have to do the same thing on the top, square root of 5 times square root of 2 would be square root of 10. So now that is rationalized, we would say. And it's done. Okay, how about this one? Let's do 8 over the square root of 2x. So it looks kind of similar, but now I've got an x there too. So I'm going to multiply by itself, square root of 2x on top and bottom. So that means I have 8 square root of 2x on top. Square root of 2x times square root of 2x is just 2x on the bottom. So now in this one, I can do a little simplifying. Sometimes when you do these, you can end up simplifying after you rationalize it. So the 2 cancels, cancel the 8 left with 4. So this is going to be 4 square root 2x over x. And that cannot be simplified anymore. How about, let's do a cube root one. How about the cube root of 5 ninths? Okay, now this one, it's the cube root. So I can't do the cube root of 9 yet on the bottom. Maybe we'll rewrite this cube root of 5 over the cube root of 9. If I want to be able to simplify cube root, I would need, I mean, I should be thinking about 3, but it's 3 times 3 times 3 would be 27, so I need another cube root of 3, which if I do that on the bottom, I have to do it on the top, so this would be the cube root of 15 over the cube root of 27, which the cube root of 27 is 3. So the cube root of 15 over 3. Okay, now one, so these all had just one term in the denominator. The last one we'll do is if we have two terms. Two terms in the denominator. Okay, so what we do when we have two terms in the denominator, we multiply by the conjugate the conjugate of the denominator. Now, I'm throwing in a word that I haven't defined yet, but the conjugate a plus b and a minus b are conjugates. So a plus b and a minus b. So it's basically it's the same terms, the a and the b are not different, but if it's plus, then you change it to minus. And if it's minus, you change it to plus, whatever separating the a and the b. And we'll see why that works. So let's say I have 5 over the square root of 2 plus the square root of 3. Okay, so I look at the denominator and I'm going to multiply by the conjugate, which would be two square root of 2 minus the square root of 3. Now, since I did that on the bottom, I have to do it on the top. Now, on top, I'm just going to leave it 5 parenthesis square root of 2 minus square root of 3, which usually we wouldn't want to multiply that out, distribute that, because sometimes maybe we'll end up with a 5 or 10 or 15, something like that on the bottom that we could reduce. So now on the bottom, I'm going to have to FOIL. So first is going to be square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2. Outer is going to be a minus square root of 6. Inner a plus square root of 6. And then last, 
minus square root of 3 times square root of 3 is 3. So notice what happens. When we, that, this is why we do the conjugate. When you do the conjugate, you're always going to have your outer and your inner drop out. And your first and your last becomes just um, a whole number or integer. So now I am going to simplify a little bit. So on the bottom, I'm going to have um, I'm going to have 2 minus 3, which is negative 1. And that means, I could leave it like that, but that's the same as negative 5 times square root of 2 minus square root of 3. And I can't really do anything else with that.